Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see an informatica scenario where uh, we are having a source file called this, which is having an ID, name, salary, and position columns. So it's having number of records in it. So finally, I want the target to have these kind of results. Let me show you. These are mapping. So I my requirement is I going to the source is going to be a flat file and the target is also going to be a flat file. So we are going to split these uh, source into two target files and the one target file is going to have you know is going to fetch the number of records present in the source file and the second one is going to fetch the you know the average salary, minimum salary and max salary of that prospective positions. Okay, so we have here our source file. Source file you can see there are number of two two positions manager and uh, some sales representative so we are going to make use of the source file and we are going to group by by position and fetch the what is the minimum maximum and average salary of this manager position and minimum maximum uh, salary of this uh, you know sales representative so let us uh, start from this from scratch and uh, see how we can create it just go to mapping then uh, create mapping i'm going to give my mapping name as m underscore hagri okay so here i have the source file so our source file as i said it's going to be a flat file even the target is also going to be a flat file uh just keeping in mind that you guys know how to create your source and targets whether it's from the flat file or the uh, database based on that i'll just move on so already i have my source file here so i'm just dragging and dropping it here so you can see along with the source file the source qualifier is also created so now let me drag and drop the targets one target which is going to get the number of uh, records present in the source file and second one will get the all the aggregations okay so you can see two targets are ready so now in order to do the processing uh, we are going to make use of a transformation called as aggregator okay so just go here transformation create and aggregator you can create an aggregator transformation here one is going to be count aggregator and i'm going to make use of another aggregator okay let me create and tell you why we are going to make use of two aggregators when we can do it in a single aggregator itself okay so sorry let me change the name i'll simply say pause okay okay i have created two aggregators over here so what exactly is happening here is uh, when we are trying to make use of a single aggregator in order to you know get the uh, this result what exactly happens is when we want uh, this you know this count we simply say uh, select count of id from the table name right whatever table name is there we simply say that and so that we'll be getting how much of our records we have whether it's 5 or 7 or 10 whatever right we'll be getting the the complete count of uh, the number of records present in it but when we are uh, trying to make use of the single uh, aggregator we are here you can see that we are trying to fetch the uh, position based on position we are trying to fetch the average salary minimum salary maximum salary so when we write a query for this when we say select count of uh, id then uh, for for example we are trying to you know group by by using position right so when i try to uh, fetch the count of id from the table uh, based on uh, group by group by pause what exactly happens is we will not get the count by just like seven if the total number of count is seven then we will be you know split splitting it based on the position if two are from manager position and five is from uh, you know sales representative this is how our result is going to be but this is not what our requirement is our requirement is we want to know the complete count we want whether it's 10 number of records or seven like that so for that we cannot make use of a single aggregator to in order to get our result so okay Ho hope you guys have understood what i'm trying to say so that's why we are using uh, two aggregators over here okay 
so first uh, first aggregator is going to get our count so i'm just going to drag and drop this column id then go to the you now double click on the aggregator transformation go to ports and then add a port over here this port is going to give the output count okay and this is going to have numbers okay you can make it as decimal then it's going to be an output port right so here just uh, go to the expression editor then here you can make use of the this this is all the function that are available for aggregator just go to all function if you scroll down you will be having a function called count and you can make use of this count go to port and uh, select the id so count of id that is what our requirement is validate you can see it's perfect so just apply this our count is ready it's very simple so our aggregator count is ready okay so this part is finished so you can just uh, drag and drop this one to the target so this is ready now how we are going to prepare this is just double click on the another aggregator that we have already created go to ports sorry before that you need to you know drag and drop the whatever uh, things you want right so just drag and drop this one pause then salary okay so this is done double click on this go to ports and here create three ports because we need average salary max salary minimum salary so here just say out of uh, abg then here it's going to be o underscore min because all these are output ports and that's why o underscore max so these are the ports that we have created make everything decimal because all our numbers we are doing calculations right so then everything is going to be in output port then go each one uh, for each one you need to go to the expression editor and make use of the function that are available in the you know in this place we have average and we, we want the average of salary so you can see average of salary validate okay and then go here again to expression editor then you can find a minimum uh, there is a minimum function over here mm. okay we have max and min also so min and we, we need the salary okay and then again go to the expression editor for max we have this and uh, yeah we have max here then max of salary again so validate okay 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 uh, our uh, our ports are ready now just apply and okay now our ports are ready so we can drag and drop our respective and another thing we are we miss this out we need to group by right group by position we have this column called group by just uh, check this position because we want the based on the position we need all these things like whether average salary min salary or not so just apply okay then now when you drag and drop average salary mm, sorry so our mapping is ready this is it so you can make use of your you know you can run it so in the next tutorial we'll see how we can run it and what are the changes that needs to be made in our you know workflow uh, manager we'll see that hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i guess you're clear with why we are using uh, these mini uh, aggregators for this respective scenario um, in the next tutorial we'll see how we can uh, run this mapping so thank you very much for watching